Good morning, everyone. This is your girl, KK. Um, I wasn't going to do a daily affirmation today because I actually have like a lot on my mind and my heart, but I, um, I'm going to come to, <laughs> I'm going to come to you today to speak on anger and confusion. So I got my um, healing frequencies going. That way it'll help me. I have my Dragon Ball Z t-shirt on so I can be on Super Saiyan mode. Um, so, oh no, we can't have that. I need my speaker. So, hold on while I plug that up really quickly. Very traumatic event happened um, last year and I was just running around in circles trying to run away from my anger confusion um, sense of betrayal rejection all of that that, that negative emotions um, I would continue to run in circles until I was listening to a youtuber named spiritual so so and uh, he was talking about healing frequencies. And that he was talking about how um, he had a stomach ache and he listened to a healing frequency and it started to um, heal his stomach. And some people in his chat were saying how they could feel it. Some were just saying that he was crazy. So, of course, I Googled it because I Googled everything. And... I found out what healing frequencies were. I found out that they can work on a physical, um, they work on different scopes, physical, emotional, spiritual, mental, all of that. So I started listening to the healing frequencies at night. And the first night when I woke up the next day, the edge had been taken off of my anger, my pain, all of that. So... After looking into the um, healing frequencies, I found out about Reiki. So I started doing the energy healing too. And now anytime I feel angry or confused, first thing I do is I listen to a healing frequency to take the edge off. Once I'm able to, to think clearly, I meditate. I meditate on the situation and I try to approach this situation in a compassionate way. So, like knowing that the other person that either made me angry or confused, that they're human, just like me, we all sometimes react out of our humanness or our shadow side. And it makes it a little bit easier to swallow when you think of it that way. Um, another thing that I do, you know how they say out of sight, out of mind. Um, I'll try to get, make myself busy, do as many things as possible so I'm not steadily thinking about it all the time. Um, and eventually it'll get easier. I would say the first step meditate while listening to a healing frequency as a matter of fact the one that I'm listening to right now oh, is 432 hertz let go of resentment and anger heal anxiety guilt and bitterness really would have loved to go live and speak about this but as you all know my internet sucks last time I tried to go live I don't even know if y'all heard even 10 minutes of it so forgive me for that but a lot of the things that other content creators can do I can't because my internet is just horrible 
So um, another thing that I would like to say is everybody isn't in the same spot. You know what I mean? Everybody isn't in the same place. Like, and that could be material wise. Like, okay, you may have money at your disposal and the next person may be struggling and barely is barely making it if they're making it <laughs> you know what I mean um, or you may be healed and the next person is just trying to figure out like how can I get to that place you may be another example you may be like college educated and have all the smarts and the next person may have a middle school education like everybody isn't in the same spot so what may come easy to one may be a legit hard struggle for the next so Another example, one person may have, let's say we're in the desert, and one person has unlimited or unlimited water supply, and the next person have nothing but mirages. I mean, we're just not all in the same spot. And it's a blessing if the person that only has mirages, they're thankful for, <laughs> at least thankful for the mirage, thankful for, thankful for the sun, thankful for the air, even if they don't have any water. So, just remember everyone's not in the same spot, and just understand, like, as humans, we just have to be understanding of one another, that we're all human, that not everyone can just easily do what you might be able to, that's all. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. I told you I have quite a bit on my heart and on my mind. But I did want to um, make sure that I was able to speak on um, anger and uh, confusion. Because it's okay. We're all human. It's okay to get angry. Um, it's just how you respond and how you heal from it. Because you don't want to stay in that place. Um, with the confusion, I would definitely suggest meditation. Because our mind is, well, most of it, most for most people, our mind is always going. So just to calm it down a little bit, you could just count your breaths, like in for four seconds out for six just to calm your mind down just so that you're able to think just a little bit more clearly and you're not focused on what you're angry or what you're confused about and you can even pray about the confusion pray for clarity pray, pray that you'll see things objectively that could also work so um always want to make sure that I come to y'all with a clear mind and an open heart because I'm an encourager. I 
always want to encourage you all to be the best, well, all of us, actually, because I have to encourage myself too, to be the best us that we can possibly be, to to uh, see, when you get a little discombobulated, Take a deep breath. That way you can focus. I just want to say all of you are such beautiful people. You're amazing. Even in our humanness, you're perfect just the way you are. You're appreciated and you're cherished. And you're not alone. You're never alone. pray that those that need this video will fully understand and feel my heart and understand what I'm trying to say. Even though words are not coming easily to me right now, probably, I probably need to, my throat chakra is probably blocked a little bit. But, um, so I'll, I'll work on that. So y'all forgive me if I, um, take a couple of days, um, know that no matter what, I am with you. If you need me, I'm going to post my email. I will definitely be there. I will definitely be there. <laughs> um. You know what? Another reason I wish I could go live is when I'm feeling a little low, you all bring me up so much. You you put things back into perspective for me. And that is, like, if you're feeling down or low, that's the point of going live. Because I, I love to lift you all up. So when I go live and y'all lift me up, that means the world to me. Because I am human. My feelings get hurt. I sometimes feel rejected. That's all a part of the journey. So, as always... I am sending all of you so much love, light, peace, 